Welcome to the training module for GigaSmart Packet Slicing. In this module, you will explore the GigaSmart Packet Slicing application. At the end of this module, you will be able to Describe the problems caused by packets in high volume traffic. Describe how GigaSmart Packet Slicing alleviates the problems. Identify the use cases for the GigaSmart Packet Slicing application. Why is packet slicing important for monitoring and analysis of network data? Analysis tools often require only the packet header for their work, particularly for compliance and confidentiality requirements, as well as network or forensic recorders. Passing the full packets requires more CPU resource for the analysis tool. Likewise, passing full packets to the monitoring tool consumes additional storage resources. Packet slicing truncates packets after either a specified header or layer and offset, or at a specific offset, preserving the portion of the packet required for network analysis. GigaSmart is able to parse variable header packets, starting slicing after a named header, IP, TCP, and so on. This way, users can slice packets without having to rely on a fixed offset. This feature accommodates packets which may have VLAN or other tags present. Because they are smaller, sliced packets are analyzed more efficiently and require less disk space to store. Tools process fewer bits and have more room to store the important portions of each packet, enhancing storage and analysis performance. As with data masking, with slicing enabled, it is less likely to have a compliance failure when the sensitive data is not present. The GigaSmart packet slicing application can improve tool performance by reducing the packet size, which in turn increases throughput. Also, full packets consume available bandwidth on the tool NIC. If the full payload is not required, then removing the data payload actually improves tool throughput by allowing the tool to receive more packets. To better comply with regulations and confidentiality, sensitive traffic that may be configured to slice or mask packet data before it is delivered to monitoring and analysis solutions. Data masking is described elsewhere. When the visibility fabric is able to protect sensitive information before any solution receives it, then individuals and organizations lacking a need to know will only receive traffic which has been scrubbed of any sensitive data. This sort of automated behavior increases confidence that regulatory compliance and confidentiality demands can be met. This is particularly important when third-party organizations are contracted to perform some or all monitoring and analysis. Many tools which measure network performance only need to see packet headers, so removing the data payload actually improves tool throughput by allowing the tool to receive more packets. To preserve performance information but not consume network or forensic recorder resources with the contents of the backup, it is possible to slice backup traffic right after the packet header. Assume that a user is monitoring a small file backup which included 100 full-size Ethernet packets. If that traffic were recorded in its raw or full-size state, it would require 151,800 bytes of disk storage. That same traffic would require only 6,400 bytes of disk space if just the packet headers were retained. This represents a 95% reduction in disk space used. Additional details can be found in the CLI, HView, and GigaView FM training modules, the GigaSmart Data Masking Training Module, User Guides, and Product Data Sheets. In this module, you have explored the GigaSmart Packet Slicing application. You are now able to Describe the problems caused by packets in high volume traffic. Describe how GigaSmart Packet Slicing alleviates the problems. Identify the use cases for the GigaSmart Packet Slicing application. This concludes the training module for GigaSmart Packet Slicing. Thank you.